So I want to talk about the two distinctly different types of entrepreneurial leaders and how when they're working together, when they're in sync, they can drive incredible value for an organization. And when they're not, they just create chaos. And the tool I want to use to demonstrate this is something called the accountability chart. It's one of the foundational tools of the entrepreneurial operating system. And the accountability chart just allows us to strip away people and titles and really focus on what's the right structure for an organization. We start by assuming that every business at the most basic level has three main functions. There's a marketing and sales function for generating demand and turning that demand into sales or customers. There's an operations function where you create a product or deliver a service or some combination of the two. And there's a financial function where you track inflows, you track outflows, you acquire assets and you manage assets. Now above these three main functions, we also assume that there is something called an integrator function. You must have an integrator function. And this is the person who really beats the drum in the organization or the glue that holds this leadership team together to drive discipline and accountability and harmonize and orchestrate their efforts so they're working towards achieving the common vision. So that's the first type of entrepreneurial leader. We often find that there is a second type of entrepreneurial leader in an organization we call the visionary. Visionary is a big ideas person. They're often a founder or an owner, so they love um, talking about culture. They're really passionate about the vision for the organization. They're great at the big relationships, so often they're good salespeople but they hate getting down into the weeds and they're just frankly, just not good at it. They're just not willing and able to have the uncomfortable conversations that need to take place to drive discipline and accountability. So if you've got a visionary in the organization, you've got to call that out. One issue arises when you don't have these two leadership roles clearly defined. So you've got to do that. You've got to define just at a high level, what are the five main roles of the integrator and the five main roles of the visionary? Make sure those are cl crystal clear and distinct. For a visionary, he or she doesn't have anyone reporting to them on the accountability chart. So you can kind of build their seat around their unique ability. And I'll give you an example. I have one client who's just a marketing genius and he creates TikTok videos that get hundreds of thousands of views on a regular basis. He's not good at managing the details. And frankly, that's just taking him away from this high value activity that he does. So you got to work out between the integrator and the visionary. Make sure the visionary is not meddling in the day-to-day -day stuff that they're just not good at. The second issue that we see is when you have a visionary stuck in the integrator role. And when that's the case, Again, there's just going to be a ton of chaos in the organization because a visionary is just not really built. They just don't have the DNA for managing day-to-day -day details. So you got to call that out and essentially promote or hire someone to the integrator role so that the visionary, again, can step back, focus on what they do best, how they deliver value at a high level, and let the integrator run the day-to-day. -day. When you can do that, you can have really kind of a supercharged relationship that really drives a ton of value for the organization, but you've got to make those distinctions. So